What is up everyone, it's Sam from Six Square Wheels, back to more diecast. Have a little bit of some allergies going on thanks to this lovely Ohio spring weather. But today I have two awesome Jurassic World Dominion mini play sets. So this usually wouldn't be something that I cover, but these are made by Mattel and they appear, whoa, if you can see that, to be able to be connected to the Matchbox and Hot Wheels playsets. So technically these can be connected to the Matchbox Action Drivers playsets. At least that's what it looks like on the box. So I'm really pumped to open these. I look for these everywhere online. I could not find them at my local Walmart, Target, Meyer, or anything like that. Ended up getting them off Amazon, I believe, um, for like $14 each, which I think is almost double what they should be. So according to what I found online, um, the little price like estimators that these were supposed to be around eight ninety nine. dollars um, So uh, for price wise, these would be anywhere from eight ninety nine dollars to fourteen ninety nine. dollars I have no idea where they're going to be at retail, um, somewhere in that range. So they're pretty big. Um, the box is probably 10 inches tall. Um, by, I don't know, two or three inches. Um, so it's pretty big. So they are two, these are the only two that they've come out with so far um, that I've been able to find online whatsoever. So the first one is, I'm probably gonna butcher the name, the Mosasaurus Mayhem playset. And that is like the, um, the water-based dinosaur. And it looks like it crashes through the um, fence and then it's got the little, what, Appears to be a raptor. Yeah, I think it's a raptor. Um, so that one looks pretty cool. It's more water based. There you can see it has a little crane arm and then like the fake water base, the little boat, helicopter landing pad, and looks like the boat wrecks. Um, this actually, for being for, for being how small it is, it's actually got a lot of moving parts in it. So there you can see both of them put together. Um, this one is the Gigantosaurus Rampage playset. So this one is the land-based one. Both of these come with two dinosaurs, a little one and a bigger one. Excuse my little dog back there. He's got some allergies too. Um, and this one's pretty cool. This one reminds me of the original Matchbox um, Lost World uh, Jurassic Park playsets that had this very similar makeup and look to them. So I'm really pumped to open these. So um, I'm gonna do the water one first because I'm gonna leave this one um, like best for last because I think that one will be my favorite. So let's go ahead and bust these suckers open. Let me know in the comments if you're collecting any of the Jurassic Dominion World, uh, I don't know, Legacy, I can't remember. Target has a whole line of these suckers. Um, let's see here. Okay. Should be pretty simple. Looks like it's a pull out. Um, section. There it goes. Cool. Okay, so the dinosaurs are in their own little thing. And there you can see that one's pretty big. It's almost the length of the whole box. So we'll get those out in a second. Look at the pieces. So this does appear to go with the other at Matchbox Action Drivers place. At least it looks like it right now. Um, we'll build them and then we'll connect them at the end. So there's a helicopter landing pad. So it's got the little Jurassic Park logo on it. There's the little crane. So that's actually a decent size. Not too bad, a lot of articulation. Does it move that way? It moves up and down this way. And now, uh, no. Does it do any grabbing? Uh, it doesn't look like, it looks like it's fixed. So there's that. The instruction booklet. Let's see if there's any stickers in this. True unboxing, nope, just the directions. Um, there, oh, look how little the boat is. The boat is so tiny, it's probably only two inches long. But it looks bigger in the picture. Um, there's a whole bunch more stuff in there. Um, there's the little fencing you can break down. So there's the actual base. So you can see how big it is. The base takes up almost the entire box. It's pretty long. I like the water. I don't think we've got a full water um, action driver set. I think that's probably the only thing we're missing. I know the... It was like the jungle had a little bit of water, but it definitely wasn't like this. This is like a crystal clear, or like a crystal colored plastic. Um, it actually does look like water. I'm pretty impressed with it. You can almost see it like waving there. Looks cool. Here's the bottom of it. It's nice. So it definitely, so here are two connector points too um, for that one. So uh, I'm gonna, open the box I don't I guess there is no stickers with it which is kind of nice um 
So I'm gonna open up some of these and then I'll hit you back here in a second. All right, I went ahead and got all the parts out, cut all like everything out of little baggies. Everything appears to be there. I also went ahead and cut the dinosaurs out and they are a rubber like flexi material. And when they have holes in the bottom of the feet, or at least this one does, so that can stick in the playset and stay there because they are a little like floppy. Oh, look at that. Stayed up the first time. So um, I had a little bit of a hard time getting them to stand up a little earlier like that. So that's that one. And then here is the big one. Um, I can't even remember the name. But this is cool because it actually has a jaw that moves. Ah. So that's cool that the movable, it has a movable part. And it also has a peg hole in the bottom to like set it into something. So it like has an action, which is cool. So let's go ahead and put this sucker together. So the first two parts are these. It's like a little... Um, it looks like a dock. Again, this should be very easy to put together. It says four and up, um, because of the small parts, but again, I'm putting these together as a collector, so I'm just showing you how to do it, um, because YouTube marked one of my videos as for kids, and it, once your channel gets marked with that, it's very hard to get it back, so I gotta be specific that it's for adult collectors, so... Um, there's that first piece. The second one is the, oh, look at this. Okay, so then this apparently goes right here. Snaps into place right here in the base. Whoop, which it goes up and down like that. Um, the second thing, let's see here. Looks like is the crane, which just snaps in the base. Just like that. Oh, this actually does fall down. Nice, look at that. That's some good movement there. Okay, and then, let's see, what is this? The boat goes over here, da, 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 right here, on the edge of the playset. So it just has some holes it sticks in, and then it pops down in there, just like that. So that's pretty easy. Not too bad. So put that right there. Then, let's see what the other one is. This one, the little helicopter landing pad pops in right here. Just like that. Oh, these should be pretty easy to put together. They're, they're, Mattel has done a great job with their play sets. Everything snaps together pretty strongly, and it's usually very sturdy. So, um, let's see. What else do we have here? This must be just the set. I don't actually see this in the instructions. So, it looks like this just goes wherever, which I assume it would be right here to connect to the other play set. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put it there for right now. Oh, come on. There it goes. That was easy. Okay, so there's that. Then this crane piece. I don't know where that one actually goes. Okay, so then we'll do the fence. Um, let's see here. It looks like this one goes over here. And those just snap in place too. There are two straight pieces and those go on each of the ends like so. And then these little curved pieces, these go... Um, on the outside like right here and they snap into to the base very easy as you can see Oop. and then this one it has the little tabs on it so this is the one that like folds down or folds forward um, so I'm just gonna snap that one into place Oop. let's see there we go like that is that into place yeah so there you can see is that in there Hang on. there it goes so that one folds down or back like the dinosaurs attacking so that looks pretty it looks pretty cool it looks like an action driver set all the colors are really good everything lines up everything puts together well so okay let's see so it says this one the little raptor goes up here or at least that's where it says in the directions to stick them so since he has a hole in his foot i'll stick him in there that way he's like stuck stuck so there are oh okay so this is interesting so it actually shows this going into here. I think you just stick it in there. I don't think it comes apart. Yeah. So you just stick the dinosaur in here. Oh, snap. That's not the best way to do it. Uh, I'm just going to stick it like that because it's hilarious. Um, let's see here. So then it says um, that's how you capture him. Like he's, if he's supposed to be in here. Like that's how you're supposed to like use the claw to pick them up so that's like one action and of course it can like knock down um and it has like fully articulating right there and it moves back and forth this does not open up this is fixed which is a little odd um this moves down so this piece 
is very interesting. So it doesn't actually go on the playset. It has like a broken disc looking thing with it. And you'll notice it has a peg there. So this slides into this like that. And then you're supposed to connect the dinosaur to the base and then you push these together and it fires. So that's what it actually says in the playset that this is used to like fire the dinosaur through the fence. So that is a little bit different than any playset I've seen um, Mattel put out before. So technically you're supposed to do this, put the dinosaur on this, put this into here and then launch it. Let's see if it'll work. I don't know if it it works that well. Let me put some more firepower on that. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about this whole thing because I didn't even buy it knowing that it did this. I like this setup. So um, for a dinosaur playland, like this boat, I don't really know what the boat does. Um, I don't know. I guess that's just, it just goes up and down. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to it. So this is a more affordable playset. Um, it has a lot of actions to it. So um, the fence, you know, you can shoot the dinosaur, the little disc launcher through the fence. It has the crane, has a little helicopter landing pad. It does have two dinosaurs. The little moving boat down here, which I guess you just tip over with like the waves. Um, this, I assume, is just to keep the dinosaurs over on this side, but it doesn't really have a function. Like there's holes here to put the dinosaur, so it's like it can't get out. But there's not really anything in the instructions that tell you what to do with that. Um, like there's another little peg right here too. So it's just kind of, um, there's another peg on the ground. There's a, like room for a lot of dinosaurs. So their whole mini line, the, like the line of these mini dinosaurs is pretty big. Mattel has a lot of them. So I assume they're meant to be almost like a display piece for those little mini dinosaurs too. So that is the first one. This thing is a little odd. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. I, I guess it's a little extra fun piece for the playset, but I, it's a little odd for me. I just like to actual like to play with them, play with them. So this one I'm more excited about the Gigantosaurus Rampage. So um, this one it looks like it's set up around the similar footprint, pretty much the same size if you can see that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust this one open and uh, we'll see what it has. Again, excuse my sniffling nose and everything else. My allergies are wilding out right now. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Looks like it's the same uh, kind of box setup. Let's see here. Whoop. Nothing in there. Got a little building, got some other things. So here is the base. This one has a grass base. It's pretty big though. That one's a lot taller. Um, let's see. Another little part. The same kind of road piece that that one has over there. This looks like the building. Um, some doors and some other things. So I'm going to open this up and we'll be right back. Okay, got all the pieces spread out. Um, opened everything. Looks like it's there. This one also has one of the launchers. This one is a green to match the green like floor. Um, on that one, it does have two dinosaurs as well. It's got a little raptor in different colors. Or no, this actually doesn't look like... Oh, no, it is a raptor. It's a little hard to tell, but I think it's a raptor. And this is the Gigantosaurus. And it, <laughs> it also has an articulating jaw. But it can move, like, way too far. Like, I just dislocated his jaw. But for being rubber, they actually have pretty good paint jobs on them. Like, his eye is yellow. I don't know. It might be a little hard to see. Or at least on this side it is. Um... Nothing's painted inside the mouth, but overall, this is like a very um, toyish thing. Like it, fe it's definitely rubber. Like it's like almost like vinyl rubber. Um, so these these would be good to play with, like in actual water. Like outside, you can get a money, and they wash off real easy um, because of the material they're made of. So that's cool about those. But you got to watch these. Like I, I have little dogs and my little dog would try to pick that up and eat it. So you got to be careful with these little like rubber things around um, kids and animals too. So um, just a warning for that one. So let's go ahead and put this sucker together. All right. First thing it says is to put the fences on. So okay. So it actually says attach the doors first. So it looks like the doors go like this. So I'm guessing. Um, so there's that one, so we'll stick that one in there, just like that. 
There is the door. It's got little tabs to close. Same thing on this side. I believe it goes that way. So the door would go in like this. Boom. Just like that. Push it in the base. Again, very easy assembly. And it looks good. The parts fit together very nicely on that. So, cool. All right. The next one is the little fake trees. These are... These feel rubber. Yeah, these are rubber too. Almost like out of what the dinosaurs are made out of. So I'm going to go ahead. Which does it say which way? Oh, it does say to go this way. I like making stuff look like the picture. So if the picture has it that way, I'm going to put it that way too. And then the little bushes out front here that are, have a little hinge on them. So these probably swing out and do some activities for the uh, for whatever the moving part of this one is. Oh, come on. Let's see, I don't want to make too much noise here. There it goes. There you can see that one flips down. And then it looks like the base goes up here. I'm trying to make sure I have all the, the right like spots because there are a lot of little gizmos on top of here. So it looks like that's how it snaps in. Maybe? I guess so. Yeah. As long as everything matches the the holes like these things line up, you're good. So that's how that one goes. So then it's saying to actually put the Raptor on this one already. So that's how the directions have it. And then it says to put the roof on or like the rest of this um, building on like this. Ah, okay, so it has a little bit of spring action. So this one's already looking a little bit cooler um, than the other one. So there's the building assembled. So it's saying if you push I don't know how it's saying. If you push it this way? I don't know. The directions aren't very clear. So here's the directions for it. And then that's the step we just did right there. Then C, it says push over. I don't know. There's not there's not really a button showing how to do it. So, oh, okay. So it's this front one. They don't show that in the directions, but that how it goes. So you go down, you click it, and then hit this, the, like pressing the rock, and then it pops it open. So that's kind of cool, the little exploding building. So then it shows, so you're supposed to use the little launcher for this one. So you knock over, let's see if this just works in general. Oh, see it didn't knock over that, so let's go ahead and just, all right, let's try this. Boom, so it does work. That one actually works a little better than the other one. I think this one is my favorite of the two, even though it's not as colorful. So I think that is it on this playset. Let me double check the directions. So you can also put a dinosaur right here and have them like that's I guess where um, the big dinosaur breaks out, the gigantosaurus um, busts out of the side. That's basically it for that one. So it has the little dinosaur garage over here. It's got the button to bust the building or bust the raptor out of the building, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got this little plant that falls down so you can knock that down with your little shooter thing if you want. Oh, see how easy that is? Boom. Um, and it's got like a little whoosh, gate you can crash with your Jurassic Park Jeep or Explorer um, that you can get from Matchbox. So not too shabby. So then this one also has one of these um, like little connectors. Let's, so let's go ahead and see if that'll work. Put these in here. Come on, come on. Just like that. And then technically these should connect together like that, but I'm going to get an action driver set out and see if it will connect to one of those. Okay, so I got the action driver's construction play set out. I'm gonna see if these will fit in here. I don't know if they will or not. They have the same type of, uh, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, bummer. Okay, so the good news is they do connect. But the bad news is, is they don't connect to the action drivers. Even though they have a very similar um, peg style, as you can see, the action drivers one um, is just a little bit smaller, like right there you can see, than this one. So they don't actually connect together. I'm very bummed about that. But they still look good next to them. And the fact that they connect, hopefully, Mattel will be coming out with more of these and we can get more uh, of these play sets to connect together because those connect together. So maybe we could have a whole action driver's world and then have Jurassic Park or Dominion or Lost World or whatever Jurassic Park you celebrate <laughs> the, is connect these suckers together. So 
the action drivers were close, but it doesn't match up all together. So uh, overall, I'm not too bummed about these. I like these sets. Uh, they're definitely more on the smaller side, even though um, they're they're kind of large. Like put together, they're they're a lot bigger than. So if I start over here, they're about the size of the one like the $14 action driver put together and then one of the like $8.99 action drivers put together. So they're that long at least. The play space is smaller, but overall there's a lot of moving parts. So if you're into playing um, Jurassic World or Jurassic Park or you collect these dinosaurs, there are a ton of stuff you can do with this, especially if they make more that are connecting. Um, and I know they make a ton of the minis. So this has been the Gigantosaurus Rampage playset and the Mo, I'm probably gonna butcher this again, Mosasaurus Mayhem playset. This is the Jurassic Dominion's minis by Mattel. So this is not Hot Wheels or Matchbox branded or anything like that. It is strictly a Mattel Jurassic Park or Dominion product. So um, even though those weren't the smoothest assemblies and like there are some hiccups in playing with them because the, the motions are kind of um, different. I like them. So let me know what you think of these in the comments. Uh, I like, I think I like this one better than Gigantosaurus. Um, and, but the water base is really cool on this one. So let me know your thoughts on both. Um, as soon as I figure out if there's going to be more of these or more action drivers, I'm going to post that, um, to coming up. So I'm really pumped. I hope they make more of these because these are pretty cool. So, um, again, thank you for watching. This is Sam, 64 Wheels. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Langley Group, all kinds of places I'm posting everywhere, um, and I'll have more soon, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.